Hey everybody, it's Deceleration, and welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. In the last episode, uh, we finished up mission C2, and, uh, did the stuff with the things, and found that Mr. Blueberry Ghost, who stole our clock hands. And you may notice that, uh, mission C3 is already done. And this is becoming the greatest recording mishap story of all time, because I recorded it once, the first time, which went fine. And it turns out that my audio was like, uh, nah dog, I'm gonna stop seven minutes into your 20 minute video. And I was like, well, that sucks. I guess I'll just record it again. So then I did it again. <laughs> and that time, my computer ran out of space. Which admittedly, that one is pretty much my fault. But nonetheless, this is going to be the third time. This is, this is the time. If this recording fails, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So I have to be watching both directions because I have one computer on one side that I use to record the video, and then my other computer on the other side that I use to record audio. So I'm just gonna be like, taking double takes to make sure that no recordings are failing. So I do apologize, this mission is not even sort of blind. So just as a heads up. Guess what, Luigi? The Periscope was able to find the poltergeist that took the clock hands. Its signal is different from the other ghost. I suspect that we may be dealing with an ancient poltergeist. Very exciting stuff. Capturing an ancient ghost would make for groundbreaking research, and Egad is a huge nerd. <laughs> as per the usual arrangement. Alright then, he seems to have settled in the roundhouse, which as you can see by the map is quite square and not round at all. I have no idea what's called a roundhouse. Be very careful in there, Luigi. Ghosts tend to gain power over time, and this poltergeist seems to be absolutely ancient. I guess you could say, he has a lot of time on his hands. Got him. <laughs> Egad's puns, ladies and gentlemen. Haha, <laughs> get it? Time on his hands? Because he has the clock hands? Got him. Just, he's slaying people right now. Ahem. <laughs> Alright, so, we're going into the mission for the third time. So, I'm going to literally speed run this. And, um, I did find the boo in the first, um, walkthrough, which I will rant about later. But, the boo does not appear in subsequent missions, or subsequent repeats of the same mission. As far as I can tell, so I'll just point out where he is. And I do still have, actually, no, I don't. I just deleted it to make space. Never mind. I don't have the footage of that boo, because I just deleted that footage to make space for this footage. So, I will point out where that boo is, and I'll probably, like, find footage of that and splice it in. Um, hopefully I can find that. Because, uh, I just feel kind of bad about these failed recordings. Like, one, they're annoying, and two, like, I, I miss stuff like that, like, with the boos and everything. But, I, oh, I guess I could go on a different save file and do it, so I'll do that. I will go later on a different save file and do it, but uh, as you just saw, we don't want to go in the roundhouse quite yet, because you remember in the, I think, first episode of this mansion, um, there was that slanted platform that we cannot cross, and you still cannot cross it, which has stumped me on the first time, but what you have to do is come, oh, I left money back there, what you have to do is come up here, uh, so you can cross over from the top, uh, like we just did, and you can find that golden ghost in that moving chest, which is pretty, pretty easy to find, very easy golden ghost. So then you come in this room, because we're hoping to cross over the top of the roundhouse. And we see this guy sleeping with a gem that I've already gotten twice now. But you can see the clock over him says 9 o'clock, so we can imagine that his clock would go off at 9 in some kind of alarm fashion. Uh, so if you suck this, you can change the clock. And I'm actually changing it the wrong way. Luigi, please. And there we... No, I missed it. It's actually really touchy, because... Okay, there we go. I had a lot of trouble with that the first time. Like, even once I figured it out... To get the clock to do what I wanted was actually quite the, the endeavor. But anyway, once you do that... Oh, sir, where are, you, where are you going? There you are. Once you do that, it's pretty cut and dry to get to the gem from him. Which I will collect uh, for a third time, just because I'm that classy. <laughs> there we go, gem. <laughs> so, um... Uh, yeah, I got that in my first run through. That wasn't too bad. And there's really nothing else in this room for us to do, so we're just going to keep on going. Or nothing else that I found in the last two runs, anyway. And now this is quite an interesting part. Um, for one... We have Mr. Blueberry, right there, performing his Harry Potter spells. And this guy, I noticed, is like a complete and utter reskin. Like, I think I pointed out that he was a reskin in the last episode. But hold on, let me let you gad rant before I go on my rant. <laughs> uh, there he is, Luigi. Hmm, but you'll need to reach the other side of the room to get down there. Ah, you can use the beams to get across. Use the circle pad to jump from beam to beam. I hope you're not afraid of heights, youngster. Um, yeah, this part is a little bit insane. Because if you fall, it looks like death. And I don't want to test it, because I have not fallen yet in any of the recordings. So that's a good thing, at least. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. Uh, that guy over there, the ancient ghost, is, like, obviously a reskin of the library ghost from the first mansion. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, 
He, like, it's not even like he has different moves. Like, you can see him enchanting the bricks just like the other one enchanted the books. But I'll go more into that when we when we fight him later on in the episode. So, anyway, we can go in this suspicious looking door that just slammed in our faces. And there we see the boo that um, tries we might we will never capture because I already did. But you can go on this floor and see that this floor is a massive troll. Uh, but you can keep running on it now to get all the golden bars, which is kind of cool. But so we cannot progress, and this is the only door that is unlocked on our level. So we must go in here to the finishing room. And there's a bomb coming down the stairs that I want to blow up so it does not get in my way later. And I would not like to get blown up by said bomb. That'd be oh my god! How what who? Those things do 20 damage to you. That is just like unforgiving though it's well it should be noted that it should be pretty easy to dodge them and that furnace scared the crap out of me but it, pr it provides you a golden bar and if you shine your dark light device on this thing that keeps following you around the room you can see that it's actually a ghost and you can oh and you can get hit in the face by his mask and miss the chance to suck him um that was weird i've never seen that happen before but uh and then more of them come to life and attack you which i actually got hit by one of these guys and i was like very depressed about that because they're the, they're the damn green ghosts. It's like getting punched by the golden ghost in the original game. But anyway, we can get this guy real quick. And please, sir, take off your mask again. I saw you take it off and I was capturing your friend. Instead of helping him, you were taunting me. So good on you. What? How? What? Backswing physics. What is that? That is some bull. Uh, that is crap. Collision polygon error. I call shenanigans on that one. So it looks like I managed to get punched in the face by a green ghost again. But anyway, as previously stated, we cannot go forward, so we must go backwards um, to this room, which also has quite a cool mechanic, the container yard. I guess we're outside. I never even really... Oh, we are outside. I never re realized that in any of the past two attempts. I thought I was inside. That's kind of weird. But if we pull this lever, we can see a bomb go into there. And then this box starts randomly moving, but there was money under it. And that's all they care about. So let's see what's up with this box. And it, if you, oh, you have to press X a bunch of times. I was wondering why that wasn't working before. You're supposed to rapidly press it. I'm such a noob. Though I am learning things on these, on these, uh, the rounds of this recording. Jesus Christ, I don't think I've ever failed a recording this many times. It's ridiculous. But anyway, um, getting back to the actual game and not my failures. Uh, his friend broke out of the box after I captured him. And we're going to capture him also and take his money. Because that's his only purpose in life. Is to be money. Plot twist. Alright, so if we do this again, um, that other bomb will weigh it down enough so that we can cross over. And we can open this and get all of the monies from it. That actually caused slowdown to my game. Because there was too much money. Anyway, if you blow up all these bombs, um, which in, in the second recording, one of those bombs like levitated back into the dispenser, which was quite odd to say the least. But that will lower the other platforms so you can get back across to the transportation hall again. And then if you go back in here, where there is strange mist coming out, you can see this is the kiln room, which I misread the first time as the killing room. In which case, this would have escalated very quickly to, like, some kind of odd Saw sequel. But anyway, we can make that appear, and it's that right there that I believe triggers the boo, if I remember correctly. So that's, like, that's required. Which is why I was really kind of unhappy with that, because, like, in the first mansion... The boos were hard to find, like, they were way off the beaten path, which I liked, because it's not the boos themselves that are the challenging part, it's supposed to be the, it's the finding them that's the challenging part. But this boo's, like, required! Literally, I think this is the first one that has been actually required, I think I've said that about other ones, that they were, like, well on the beaten path, but this boo was, like, legitimately required, so that was weird. Um, but I will go back later and get some footage from that, because, um, I feel bad about missing that. But, um, it can, if I can please suck this thing, because there is a little bit of a secret thing, but for some reason Luigi is not grasping the concept of sucking the thing. Um, can I, uh, what, no, I had it! There we go. If you pull this, a golden bomb comes out, and you can flash him, and just like all the other golden enemies, oh god, I don't want to get hit by that again, um, he will give you money. A lot of money, actually. Or a fair amount, anyway. I'm not going to say tons of money, but anyway, now that we've done that... Uh, we are clo- oh, spiders, spiders, there we go. And I believe the floor is turned off at this point. Um, so you can, you can safely get those golden bars from those guys. And there's actually a golden bar right there that I didn't notice. 
Um, so once we suck that sheet off, we can go across here and use the portrait that the boo put. And I really don't understand why- oh god. I don't understand why the boo just gives you a key with no strings attached. Uh, my first run through, I was certain this was going to be some kind of convoluted trap. But it doesn't seem that way. The boo was just like, you know, whatever. But it does look like there's something behind that portrait, so we will keep that in mind. Because I did think that- oh, and there's some money up there that I missed. Oh god, that coin just went flying! I don't want to get hit by spiders, actually. And that key goes to this door over here that was locked in the, in the beginning. So now, Jesus Christ, I, my jaw literally hurts right now because I've been commentating for like an hour. So I apologize if I seem tired because I am. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is this is the final stretch. So have no fear, Mr. Blueberry is here. <laughs> I like how that happened. And as we can see, Mr. Blueberry is now causing major turmoil. And this is where the opposite side of the plank that we can walk across, just for perspective. We are back in the roundhouse, or whatever it's called. Oh, I guess this is... Well, this is why it's called the roundhouse. Because there's a giant thing in the middle that spins. I literally just realized this. Oh, he broke the chain somehow. How? What? Oh, I got him again. I'm actually doing quite well. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. That's what happens when you say you're doing quite well. You get screwed. And you need to- no, not do that. That was not what I wanted you to do. Sir, yes, thank you. Because these guys get really annoying in this fight. Um, but like I was saying before, these guys are like complete and utter reskins of the guys in the library. Besides their weird tornado attack, which is really annoying actually. But I got out of it that time. Uh, before I was having- oh god. Before I was having major difficulties getting out of it. And the tornado has way too good of an aim with those bombs. Though I guess it is an ancient demon tornado, but still. Um, and sir, I need to, there we go, see if I can get a double at least before I get hit in the face by a book. Oh, no, that's a brick. I keep calling them books because there's a reskin. It's not my fault. Sir, pink ghost, you just need to leave because you're kind of being a pain, even though you didn't actually scare me once, but you were going to be a pain. I'm just a clairvoyant. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is bad times. Well, luckily I got out of that, because if you go in the center of the tornado, you also take damage. I don't think that's happened to me yet in this fight, because I'm- Oh! I was about to say I'm learning, but I just ran right into a bomb. And oh my god, I actually forgot to get the golden bone. There's a golden bone in the room with the clocks. Uh, the clockmaker's room, or quarter, whatever that room is called, where we got that gem. Uh, there is a golden bone if you get enough previous money. I'm gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. That would be such karma, too. Like, fail, like, two recordings where I don't die. And then on the last recording, the one that works, I die. I'm just calling it right now. That would happen to me. And oh, thank God he dropped a heart. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I won't die now. Especially if this guy drops a heart. Then I'm really not going to die. But still, that would totally happen. Two failed recordings plus a death. When On the one recording that I don't get the golden bone, that would potentially revive me. <laughs> so that's my rant about luck today. Oh my God, but we got him. We got him. We got him. He dropped hearts. And we got him, and we can suck this thing, and get back across, and get our clock hand. But as we can see, we only got one clock hand. Even though it says recover the clock hands is completed, uh, which uh, the first time I thought they counted as both. But anyway, Egad says, good going, Luigi. I knew you had it in you. You recovered the clock hands, and you captured the ancient poltergeist. Let's get you back here. I don't want that poltergeist escaping from the poltergeist 5000. I think I just said poltergeist twice. My bad. But anyway, oh my god, <laughs> my face hurts. That's the only way I can describe this. I'm so sorry for all of the mishaps and probably weird recording that this was. Um, I really do apologize, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Let me just look around and make sure no recordings fail, which they didn't. So hopefully this one will be good. Um, I really do want to keep up this daily upload schedule, which is why I didn't want to not upload today and just give up. So um, I hope you can at least um, find some goodness in that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The next one will definitely be an improvement on this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, if you did like this video, please remember to hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next episode.